Don't mind being honest that you had some things that happened that you had to face it. Am I talking to anybody? You you had some trials. You had some tribulations that you had to face. And God is saying, I need you, I said, to be a long distant runner now. See, it's, it's always easy. It's always easy to get your praise on as long as you're above the storm. Am I talking? It, it's easy to give him praise and worship and your bills. It's all paid. It's good to praise him when you got the best of health and you don't have no problem. You can just pull your credit card out, purchase what you want, go where you want, eat what you want, drink what you want. But every now and then, God has to allow you to run. You look at your neighbor and say, you got to be a runner sometime. Watch, watch this. Watch, watch this, watch this. He, he said, run. Now, in my course of study, I thought Isaiah had really changed from the eagle to a runner. But I said, that don't sound like he twisted up that fast. I said, it seemed like he's still talking about an eagle. And the reason I said that, because I had to go back once again and look at an eagle. Because an eagle don't always fly. Oh, I'm going somewhere here. And when I did, I went to YouTube, and I wanted to see how does an eagle run. And in my course of study, Brother Nelson, I, I found out an eagle has a funny way of running. I wish I had some help in here. A eagle, he, he just... But watch this, and every now and then he'll leap back up and fly. He'll get back down, and he'll leap back up. I'm going somewhere with you. Somebody in here, you've been up. But every now and then, a storm will come. And you got to learn how to run through it. And God will elevate you back up to fly over that. And before you know it, grandma will be in your spirit and say, if it ain't one thing, I wish I had some help in there. It's another. But this is not the time, watch this, to get down. This is the time to still be excited because you're saying, if he brought me through it last week, surely, I feel like talking to y'all, he'll bring me through this. And I want to encourage somebody that whatever you're running through, just keep the excitement. Tell your neighbor, stay excited. Watch this, watch it. He said, he said, run and not be weary. I'm running. Then I said, what, what's the weary part? He said, the word weary means faint, the same as in the last part. But he said, but the word weary right here, they say, to lose your breath. Can I, can I talk to somebody in here? You've been going through something. And it feels like you're about to... <sighs> <sighs> You, 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 I'm tired. I can't, I can't go no, no further. It, it, it's like me. It's like me. <laughs> it's like me. Sometimes, Brother Larry, when I'm, when I'm working out on my treadmill, every now and then I'm, I'm doing real good. I can get up to about eight miles and I'm running real fast for a whole minute. But every now and then when I get lazy and I miss about two or three days. Watch this. It's the same treadmill. I wish I had some help here. On the same speed. Trying to do the same minute, but when 30 seconds hit, and God is saying to me on the treadmill, Wait a minute, Doyle, didn't I allow you to go 60 seconds last week? Get back on the treadmill. Is there anybody in here you feel tired sometimes? You ought to look at your neighbor and say, Neighbor, stay excited.